MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Atlanta Braves and the St. Louis Cardinals. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. He will lead this one off today. Now the one and one pitch. Hit softly down the line at first, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Nick. That misses, so the count goes full now to the second batter of the ball game. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when he's throwing. Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Blake now Freddie Freeman a ball and two strikes now one out nobody on popped him up Goldschmidt has room in foul territory and that's the second out of the inning and now the Atlanta number four hitter Ronald Acuna as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. All even now, two and two. Now a swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. And there's one down now. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Dexter Fowler. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. And a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher you're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes on deck the powerful right handed bat of Paul Goldschmidt and that's into the outfield for a one out hit around first digging for two Fowler around second he's headed for third the relay throw, and it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. The plate now, Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. In now, Matt Carpenter. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. A bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Now the 2-1. Grounder down the line at third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. That is good. The catcher. 
Into the box, Tyler Flowers. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. The 2 2. Ozuna stands at second with no outs. And he fouls this one off. Full count now, three and two. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. That is the Charlie Colby. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. The next to bat for Atlanta, Austin Riley. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. A 1 1. Misses for the second ball. Fastball. And hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3 and 1. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he misses with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Bases are loaded with only one out. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Ready with the 2-1. Lifted in the air out to right. Fowler has a read on it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. DeYoung digs in next. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The 2-1 home. Waiting on deck, there's Yadi Molina. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. The 1 1 home. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Markakis. And no one will track it down. Here now the 2-2. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Still even at 2-2. Two and two. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. Sent on the ground out to second. Albies picks it up. One there. Back to first, and they'll get the slow footed Molina. It's a double play. Now in the box, Tyler O'Neill. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Scorch to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Oh. 
Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Back goes Thomas. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Two out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he sat down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Stepping in, Lane Thomas has two hits in 11 trips for the series so far. Now the three and two pitch. Drill down the line and a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. At the plate, Jack Flaherty. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. And he's safe. Digging in to try it again. Colton Wong. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. Acuna has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Here's Dexter Fowler now, and they're runners at the corners now. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Fouled off. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Got a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Bases are loaded here with one away. And that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. The three and one pitch. Takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. Ball grounded to short. This could be two to second for one. Relay to Freddie. Double play, and that'll end the inning. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. A base hit in his first trip. The 1-1. One -one. Is a letter high fastball swung on and missed. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. Here now the 2 2. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Settling in now, Tyler Flowers reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Sent out to straightaway center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. 
Stepping in, Charlie Culberson, who looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Fly ball to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Matt Carpenter. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. Pitch on the way. Hard sinker misses 2 and 2. Seared down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Striding in, Paul DeYoung. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Yadier Molina, first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Grounded back up the middle, and Molina's aboard a base hit. Now battle. No Standing in now, Tyler O'Neill. Oh, to two balls and two strikes now. One run, four hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Popped him up. Albies over to his right. And that's the third out. So coming to the plate, Austin Riley. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Back up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Into the box now, Mike Soroka. And he misses the bunt attempt, so it's a ball and two strikes now. That's not great form right there, but you can't be surprised. A lot of these guys were not asked to bunt coming up through the minor leagues, so don't expect every sack bunt to get down. So a runner at first with one out now, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. There's one on to Goldschmidt, and it's in time a double play, and the side is retired. Digging in, Lane Thomas, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The one-two. Tried to hold up there, appealed down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. The two-two. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Stepping in now, Jack Flaherty tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. And he tries to bunt here with two strikes, but he's out. So striding in, Colton Wong. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Wong. 
and he takes a cold strike too. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Culverson takes charge, and he's got it. Two down. So stepping in, Dexter Fowler. It was a walk in his last trip. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, one and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Payoff pitch on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Marcakis digging in now. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Back goes Thomas. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Stepping in for the Braves. Freddie Freeman 0 for 2. He's flown out Freddie. twice. Bases are empty, one man out. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hand. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. Meanwhile, now this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. In now, Ronald Acuna. Ground ball foul down the left side. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. The one two is outside for a ball. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Three and two now. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. No chance to make the play. Let's just hope he's okay on the mound. So a new pitcher set to go here as the right-hander Adam Wainwright gets the ball. To the plate now, Marcelo Zuna. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. Reined in. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Here now is the catcher, it's Tyler open. Flowers. Tyler. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed 2 and 1. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Charlie Culberson would be next. Strike taken up in the zone. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Fouled away. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Luke Jackson enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the inning now. Coming to the plate now, Paul Goldschmidt. He's working on a one for two game so far. A 1 1. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. 
I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Count is one and two now. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. And that one is gone! Well, he was over in the series before that blast, so that's just about as welcome a sight as he could hope for. He got a pitch to his liking and took out a lot of frustration with that swing. At the plate, Paul DeYoung. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. His prior history in this matchup, he's one for three. Hit hard on the ground towards second. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now to the plate, Yadier Molina. He singled his last time up. The 3-2 pitch is in there. A called strike three. Riding into the box, Charlie Culberson. He'll be in there to start things out against Adam Wainwright. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. Two balls, one strike, two count. Line to the right side. And that's going to be a base hit. So there's the possible go-ahead run aboard to kick off the seventh. Up next for Atlanta. The third base. Standing Austin in now, Austin Riley. Riley. A ball and two strikes. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes again, one, two. Ball. Misses, ball two. Two and two. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. On the first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's well, erased the on the double play. Ender Inciarte will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Bases are empty here with two men out. A little roller toward the hole. Fielded cleanly. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Shane Green gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 19. Digging in now, Tyler O'Neill. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. All even at two and two. Here it is. Oh, and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And they have taken the lead. So now to the plate, Lane Thomas. Freeman is up with it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Tommy Edmond is out of the dugout now as it looks like he'll come on and hit for the pitcher, Wainwright. Tommy Edmund. Down the... And that is off the first base bag. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Into the box, Colton Wong. And it's fouled away. High in the air out towards shallow right. Markakis has a read on it. 
Kearney, and that's the second out of the inning. Digging in, Dexter Fowler. He was a ground out victim last time up. Dexter Fowler. Nope. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Fowler carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Paul Goldschmidt would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Acuna is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Jordan Hicks has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 12. So up steps Ozzy Alves. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. The 2-1 pitch. A bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. Rounded softly down the line toward first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And standing in, the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Popped him up. Goldschmidt is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Into the box. Freddie Freeman who came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The 2 2. This one, everything we could have hoped for. 3 to 2 in inning number 8. So a full count now. Ronald Acuna would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, He'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Martel O'Green. Three balls and a strike to the Braves' left fielder. Got a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Ryan Helsley answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam but needs just one out to get out of it. The set and the 1-1. One -one. In his career, Flowers is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Fowler is there to make the catch, and a great job of pitching as they strand the potential tying run at third. Chris Martin is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 55, Rick Martin. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat.
Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Stepping in now, Matt Carpenter. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Oh, yeah, just great level. approach. No one really Good chased job. today. Really stayed staunch on, on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And the count will be full. One out, nobody on. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Now batting, Hector Yadier. Into the box now, Yadier Molina. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route the number two. The left fielder. So striding Tyler. forward now, Tyler O'Neill. He went deep last time up. The 1-1 one, one home. Count is two and one. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Now this will rattle up against the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. The center fielder, number 25, Lane. To the plate now, Lane Thomas. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. On the move is Markakis. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Giovanni Gallegos comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. So digging in now, Charlie Culberson. Last time through was a base hit. Looking for base runners here as they're down two, playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Adam Duvall. He'll try again, one, two. And another foul ball. Fouled off. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. A 1-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. How about it? Standing in, Austin Riley. He's one for two in this one. Now the one and one pitch is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Skied into straightaway right. There to take it is Fowler as that becomes out number two. Danny Echevarria will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 24, Danny Echevarria. Final strike for the Braves. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Well, you credit Adam Wainwright with the victory, barring any late turnaround here. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. And he'll make the catch here to end it, and the Cardinals bounce back here to take the finale and earn a split of this four-game series as this one is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home, so this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. Four to two, the final score today. The St. Louis Cardinals jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Adam Wainwright wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Giovanni Gallegos wraps it up for the save, his 18th.
So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, four runs on 11 hits. No error. They left eight men on base. For Atlanta, two runs, six hits, no error. They left eight men on base. The winning pitcher is Adam Wainwright. His record is now four and one. The loss goes to Shane Green. He falls to five and three. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.